Removing backgrounds from images in 2000, PowerPoint 2003 works a lot like it does in 2007. And that is because both versions use the Set Transparent tool, which is the ideal way to isolate and remove or delete a solid color from your images. So let's walk through a couple examples real quick in PowerPoint 2003. So in this first example, most of this is looking pretty good, right? If we wanted to remove the background from this, this stock image we got from iStock, you can see we have a solid color everywhere. The only possible problem or challenge would be around the shadow right here, right? So if I select my image, and if you don't see your set transparent, you can get that from going to View, and Toolbars, and then Picture. I'll just put that up there. So the Set Transparent tool is this pen or wand tool with a uh, triangle in the bottom left corner. I click this, and you can see that my tool changes. Now, unlike other graphics programs, there aren't any tolerance settings for this. You don't have anti-alias. You don't have feathering. You don't have a, uh, a tolerance setting for how strong you want it. It's basically all or nothing. It's going to click on an image, and you can see it removes the white from there. Now, this down here, obviously, is part of the shadow, so that faded a little bit, and it doesn't look so great. But I don't want to discourage you from using this, because this is actually a really powerful way and a quick way to remove backgrounds. So depending on where you're putting your image, depending on your scene elements, you might be able to quickly make some adjustments. So in this case, I'm working again with a, uh, a scene that I set up with a floor and a, a wall. So I, maybe you could take this, move part of your graphics up. Let's just do this real quick. And kind of work around, and if I'm just going to order, I'll bring that to the front and change. Bring that back to the front too. Your scene a little bit. So maybe rather than the beach scene where the car is on the sand, maybe the sand is in the background and the car is in the foreground, and you rearrange some of your basic scene elements just to accommodate that. So in this case, right, the shadow blends perfectly, and it looks kind of like maybe instead of being on the sand, the, the car is just on the side of the road, you know, right next to the uh, the beach. As as a workaround, right? I mean, obviously, if you need this on the uh, the sand you'd want to use a more professional or more uh, more capable selection process. Just an idea. But when you get over to other graphics like this, you have a really good opportunity, especially with any kind of gradient or off-white backgrounds. So again, let's go ahead and just remove this background real quick by setting the set transparent, click it, and it looks great, right? So we could bring in this guy. Maybe he can stand out there behind it, be your advertisement guy. Hey, this car is great. Anyway, so another option, and especially when you start working with off-center, off-color backgrounds, the set transparent really starts to work. And just a final example here, these both, uh, both these images from my stock don't have any shadows or drop shadows or uh, borders around them, so they're actually going to work really well too. But you can see that sometimes it, it works a little better when you have images that are on a, uh, a lighter background, just because if there's any fringe to the elements, but it didn't get a perfect selection, it'll actually blend in a little bit nicer. You can see that this guy is blending better in the, uh, the sky than he is in the grass down here. So just another observation, just another thing to consider. And I have one other example, another way around it, and this guy's got a pretty good shadow down here on the bottom. If I select the set transparent, that's pretty glaring. Well, maybe I don't need him to be standing necessarily, and I can just cut him off at the knees or just a little bit higher and have him work like that. In this case, this guy is going to work really well, but that's because he doesn't have any kind of shadow around his feet. So a couple ideas, a couple options for removing backgrounds in PowerPoint 2003 with the Set Transparent tool.